Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you have been here before, hey, thank you so much for coming back. Today I have another installation of the Struggle is Real series, my collab series with my LA colleague Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates. I will leave her link with the struggle that we're doing today. Uh, it'll be in the info box below. And today we're going to look at the best place to struggle in the Pilates studio at the pedipole. And I'm not going to lie, every exercise here for me is a struggle. And you know, back in the day, perhaps this was a bit men's exercise. I don't know. I'm going to say that as like an excuse for myself. Maybe that's not true. <laughs> um, but I have decided to downgrade the struggle a little bit for myself. So the exercise we're going to look at today is called centering. And there's two ways you can do it. Um, we're going to do today my favorite way to do it, which is kind of everything together. Like, you know, in the spirit of the double leg pull. And then we're going to look at doing it uh, kind of one direction and then the reverse direction. And I've managed to make the struggle a little bit more uh, not so real, shall we say, for myself. Um, you may have learned in your training, uh, as I did in mine, that if you have someone who's short or perhaps not a big strong man like myself, you can insert, so this is how the pedipole is normally, with the handle clipped to the spring. But then, because I'm not so tall, and because I like to use my upper body when I shouldn't, I've decided to give myself a little extra clip, and that's just going to extend the handle down to be a little more advantageous for my height and my overworking shoulders. <laughs> and so that's not to say it's not going to be a struggle. And for myself, I'm a little bit sway backed, so I like to have my feet kind of far away from the pole itself and in a parallel position. I'm going to get into my centering kind of like a little in the spirit of footwork. So I just have a little bit of pressure on the spring tension. So I'm not really pushing it, but as I move my lower body, the, uh, the upper body is going to stay connected to the springs and it's going to move a little bit. So first, I'm just going to use my two by four skill to do a little bit of footwork. So I'm going to press into the floor and slide down the pole. And then I'm going to press the floor away and plaster my back into the pole. And I'm even going to try to bend my knees and push on the floor to get a little lift in my spine. And then I'm going to press down on the floor and lift back up again. I'm just going to do it one more time. So I'm going to push down and lift in the center. And then I'm going to push the floor away. And that was really all in the spirit of getting my booty working instead of my legs. I kind of feel like I need one more. I'm going to go up to go down. And then I'm going to go down to go up. And now I'm going to do the same action. I'm going to add the arm. So this is the centering. I'm going to reach so that as I bend and lift, the arm is going to reach down. And then as I push the floor away, I'm going to reach the arms back up again. Yeah, the struggle is still pretty real. And I really find I have to really attract the bottom and the upper stomach to help me move the spring. So this is the first version, just everything going down, everything going up. And then we can do a little uh, alternation so that I would do what I did first and then follow with the upper body. And then slide up and then reach the arms. And I'm really trying to get a handle on finding my lift before I push the spring all the way. So I'm going to lift as I lower 
And then once I reach and start the spring moving, I'm going to lift on the inside away from that spring as much as I can. And now I'm going to reverse. So the upper body is going to reach first. And then I'm going to bend the lower body. And then I'm going to stay in the lower body and reach the arm. And then I'm going to straighten my legs again. One more time. You know, three in each direction of this is kind of no joke. But on the inside, as I push the spring, I'm lifting and lifting and lifting my waistline to give me more power from my center and less from my arms. Woo! So, give that a try. If you're a petite, Use the extra clip and give the centering all together and in each direction a try. See which one you like the best. I kind of like the one where everything goes together, maybe because I feel like it, the other one takes forever. <laughs> um, but let me know how you do, because I can't lie, this apparatus I should really, really use more. I feel like it's a bit of a piece that sits and collects dust a little bit, but I'm trying to make myself and all the people I teach use it even more. And centering is really so much like all of our other lying down arm springs exercises and our wall exercises. It's kind of, you can take components from other things around the studio to build the strength to approach the pedicle. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later.